with my first story time video um, I've been wanting to do one of these for the longest and um, I was chatting with one of my YouTube sisters and she was just you know she was like you know what let's do a collab and um, and then we started you know throwing ideas back and forth at each other and come to find out we are both 16 when we first got pregnant so why not do that video so make sure when you're done watching my video I'll put the link to um, my YouTube sister um, Natasha's video down in the description so make sure you go check out her video as well and show her some love tell her I sent you guys over there um, give her a thumbs up subscribe to her channel she's awesome she does a lot of reviews and stuff like that and um, she's doing rants and story times obviously and stuff and uh, she just has an awesome channel so make sure you guys go show her some love and um you know I thought that along with my story time it would be you know awesome to do another cigar review um you know I haven't did one in a while so I wanted to do one again while I was doing my story time with you guys so I thought it would be the perfect opportunity and what I'm going to smoke on now is a um Victor Sinclair uh, 55 Imperial if you can see the band there and um this is a Habano and um I love these cigars. Um, it was aged really well. Um, really nice leaf on it, as you can tell. Darker, darker leaf. The smell is amazing. It's one of my last um, cigars in my humidor that I got from Mark. So thank you, Mark, for my humidor. And um, I thought this would be the perfect one to um, smoke while I told you guys my story. So great smoke guys if you are a cigar smoker I would definitely definitely try one of these Victor Sinclair's these 55 Imperials um, great tasting this one was like perfectly wrapped um, it, it's not too tight not too loose so it's a great pull even burn other than you know the parts that I burnt with the lighter but great smoke guys gotta make sure I'm not talking to you guys with tobacco in my teeth because <laughs> I have done that before but um on to my story um I wanted to tell you guys um my story of Tara um I did have her at 16 I was in high school when I had her um I was a sophomore in high school when I ended up getting pregnant and it was a shock to me but it was also a shock to like my friends and family because I was such a nerd in school that everybody was shocked like oh my god Crystal was having sex you know like oh my god she's pregnant and um and yeah I ended up finding out I was pregnant when I was 16 had her um October of 2002 and I was still 16 I had turned 17 that January um turning into 2003 um I was turning 17 and I'm gonna put some pictures here so you guys um I'm put them on one of these sides um, probably this side um, put a picture here of you know Tara was about a month old or so in this picture and then I'll post a couple while I'm talking too so you guys can see some pictures of baby Tara and young Crystal um, I just turned 30 this past Monday the 11th so um, it's been a long time uh, she is my one and only physical child that I've had um, I haven't physically had any more children um, I do have my wonderful stepdaughter Brittany which is Mark's daughter and um, her amazing daughter Aaliyah my granddaughter um, and and yeah like it was such a surprise um, when I found out I was pregnant it was 
um, one of those things where I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I was pregnant. But I was one of the individuals that got so sick during the beginning of my pregnancy. Like I was sick for like three months straight. Like I ended up losing like 50 pounds. I got so small um, because the morning sickness was like all day sickness for me. And I was so, so sick. And that was one of the things that kind of like triggered my mom to be like, you know, we're going to go to the doctor because I was literally like living off crackers and Sprite. Um, and sorry I keep looking that way my dog jumped up on a pile of clothes and she's laying down <laughs> but um but yeah like that that triggered my mom to be like you know okay let's go to the doctor did a pregnancy test came back that I was pregnant um, and it was just like a whirlwind from there you know like um, one of the things that I, during my first ultrasound I made the doctor ask was do you see two heartbeats because I'm a twin so I was like that was the first thing that I wanted to know was like if I if, am I having twins um, and it ended up just being one um, and like throughout my pregnancy like I had a really good pregnancy other than the beginning um, you know like it was uh, it wasn't very painful um, I didn't gain a lot of weight throughout my pregnancy um, you know like I started feeling her kick and stuff and um, I ended up telling my brothers when I ended up getting my first like where you can get the, the ultrasound where you first get your ultrasound papers and um, that's when I ended up telling my brothers and my twin brother actually cried like he he cried when he found out I was pregnant because like I showed him a little ultrasound paper and he's like who's pregnant you know and I was like me you know you're gonna have a niece or a nephew and um and he was just in shock you know and um you know come you know when it came time to finding out what tara was if she was a boy or a girl um she had her legs closed like crossed and tucked so they could not see at all what she was so i did not find out what she was until i ended up having her and um it you know it's my like my belly I swear I got no bigger than like a basketball like my belly was small I was small I'm only five ones so you could just imagine how tall I was at 16 you know um, I probably was four, four foot something you know so I was really small don't want my cigar to go out guys yeah so I was really small and um I had a lot of support, you know, like, um, you know, my dad was one of those people, you know, like, he was very sad when he found out I was pregnant because I, I was his baby girl, you know, I was the baby and, you know, like out of the girls and, um, you know, so he was in shock when he found out I was pregnant and stuff. Um, but until I had her, um, you know, everybody was just like, you know, I can't believe you're having a baby. And, um, it was you know it was crazy it was crazy you know like and I think it goes with everybody else who had kids you know at a young age and stuff and then you know it came time to going into labor with her I went into labor at like one o'clock in the morning really really extremely bad contractions um ended up going to the hospital um my brother was so my twin brother was so mad that he couldn't come with me to the hospital but he had to stay back with our little brother and um ended up going to the hospital come to find out Tara was stuck in my pelvic bone so that was what was making my contractions even worse because she was trying to push down but she was pushing down on my pelvic bone um and then so they were like you know well let's you know go ahead and pop your uh, you know pop your water because my water hadn't broke yet and um once they popped my water they saw meconium which is for people who don't know it's when the baby uses the bathroom in the amniotic sac you know in the fluid so um you have the you know her feet it her 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 bowel you know in her i was gonna say fetus her feces in you know in the amniotic water and um and she was you know consuming it so you know that's really bad especially for a baby's lungs to consume their bowel so they had to hear it and get her out but since she was stuck i had to have an emergency c-section um so you know i was only able to have one person in there so i was like you know i want my mom in there so you know every young kid you know I want my mom you know so i had my mom come in there and you know they kept telling my mom to sit down don't look over the sheet you know that they put over your stomach so you can't see them cutting you open and stuff and um and she was like, I, it doesn't disgust me, you know, she's looking over and stuff. And, you know, as soon as they pulled Tara out, my mom was like, it's a girl, it's a girl. Um, Tara was only like six pounds, seven ounces. She was really small. She was like, you know, 18 or 19 inches long. And um, I ended up having her at 747. So my, my, from the point of when I started having, went into labor till having her 
was less than eight hours so I was blessed on that part you know but um but it, it was it was a struggle you know being pregnant at 16 I was a single parent you know ended up dropping out of school and um um, I eventually went back and got my, you know, HSCD, which is the high school equivalency di uh, diploma. Um, you know, currently in college, as you guys know. So, you know, yeah, you know, I'm starting off back late into the college years. You know, like I said, I just turned 30, but, you know, I didn't let having her at 16 stop me. And, you know, if any of you young mothers um, are watching this and you've, you know, had to drop out of school or don't have the support to allow you to go to school or go to college, you know, don't let it stop you. There's a lot of state assistance that can help you, which I had gotten, you know, being a young mother that really helped me to allow me to be able to go back to school and stuff like that. So, you know, don't let it deter you, you know, like I just wanted to share my story because, you know, um, a lot of people think that Tara's my sister, you know, um, and I mean, that's a, you know, that's a compliment to me, but, you know, I'm like, no, she's my daughter, like, you're not old enough to have her, you know, and I'm like, that's because I had her at 16, you know, so it's just a story I wanted to tell you guys, and, you know, I hope you enjoyed the story. Let me know if you guys want any other story times, or, you know, like, if you guys want me to talk about anything specific, please leave it down in the comments, um, and yeah, like I said before, go check out my girl's channel, um, I'll leave all of her information down in the description so you can go check out her channel um and um, show her some love but thanks you guys so much for watching and like i said if you want to see more of these let me know thumbs up the video guys and if you're new to my channel please make sure you hit that subscribe button um and for all my cigar smokers make sure you go and check out the cigar it's one of my favorites um on my you know i'll say it was on my top 10 top 10 favorites of cigars so um definitely go try these out for you cigar smokers and you have an awesome rest of your week i know it's monday that you guys are watching this so have an awesome rest of your week guys and i will see you on wednesday you guys will know what's posted so you gotta keep you gotta stay subscribed and keep on the lookout for what i post you guys so have an awesome day Oops.